No access for civilians. I'm not a civilian. I'm part of the resistance. Which, by the way, is also why you were going to accompany me to the gate. Well, tough luck. I have new orders. I'm supposed to guard the radio and bring in any messages from the front. Well, I've got a message here. From the frontmost front. I have to get into the rebel camp. And Fronto, a pronto. Then talk to the Major. She sets the priorities here. Yeah, you bet I'm going to. Wait a second, that's no Major. That's just Tony. You know, Major T? Th that's my ex-girlfriend. I see she's moving up in the world. Not just professionally. Any goat. God, they'll let anybody into the resistance these days. Whatever happened to the good old Rufus test? Did they run out of fries? Can you come to the gate now to identify me? No, I'm supposed to guard the radio and bring in any messages from the front. But... If you want to complain, talk to the Major. I'm busy. What's that you've got? Is that a message from the front? No less. Not from Bozo by any chance. <laughs> would I lie to you about such an important topic? Or would I leave the conclusion to your imagination in the hope that it might by chance help me out? Yeah, enough with the fancy schmancy. Give me the letter. My dearest honey bunch. Huh. Are you sure this letter is for me? Bambi. Honey. Makes sense. Some people get poetic when they're mortally wounded. What? Ah, sorry. I <laughs> didn't mean to jump the gun. Wait. Dearest Honey Bunch, uh, I wish you were here with me. Blah, 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 blah. To be more exact, I stepped on an Organon landmine. Oh, no. Bozo. Is he all right? Well... Is he still alive? Tell me! Or do I have to pull the information out of you in the form of your brain tissue through your nose? Hey, hey, stay calm. No reason to get aggressive right away. I'm just a mailman. Bozo is with his family. You should set out right away. Wait, there's more. Watch out for the mailman? Oh, no, the small print isn't that important. Go on. You're losing valuable time. Right. I need to be by his side. Hang on, Bozo. I'm coming. <laughs> that was easy. And I didn't even have to lie. Presenting the new and improved Rufus. Forget the Rufus you once knew. Judging from the design, this must be Lottie's lunchbox. She's always been a Cowboy Dodo fan, but she isn't allowed to go to the concerts anymore. Not since she threw her bra onto the stage. Oh, that poor drummer. May he rest in peace. Well then. Let's see what Lottie has in her lunchbox. What is that? Lottie didn't take her hormones. Maybe the fortune teller was right after all. Surprise! Rufus, good to see you. Yeah, yeah, and your mother smells of... What? It's what to see me? Good! Yeah. I was afraid something had happened to you. Hey, something's different. You got a new hairstyle? Close. A new therapist. Where did they get all this stuff in such a short time? They even have the new, uh, model, uh, 67.5, uh, 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 no, wait, that, that isn't the model number. That's a label with the radio frequency they use. Oh, Rufus, what are you doing? I'm <laughs> making you live it. I am, right? By playing around with the radio? Not at all. Be my guest. Huh? Really? Sure. Go ahead. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, I don't know. It's, it's no fun when it's allowed. Good idea. If I set the frequency of Tony's radio on the baby phone, I can reach Tony any time. Easy. Now, all that's left is the question of why I should radio her at all. She stopped fetching me from random bars with a wheelbarrow a long time ago. I don't need to radio her. She's sitting right next to me. Something is different about her. <gasps> of course, the foam around her mouth is missing. Yoo-hoo! Tony! Ah, Rufus. Won't you sit down? 
I need to talk to this new general. Can you take me through the gate? I could, but I won't. I need to finish my meditation first. Excuse me, does that mean you're just gonna sit here? The Organon might be initiating the detonation of our planet at this very moment! While the last high boat is still anchored at Ascension Customs? Unlikely. 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 Will you still be saying that when everything around here suddenly turns into a, a, a flaming fiasco? Oh, uh, now that was highly unlikely. You mean, like back when you tried to turn lead into brass instruments? That was a completely different matter. Anyway, it would have worked. If only I hit the high F sharp. Oh, Rufus, just relax. We've got everything under control here. The General has a plan. Come on, Tony. I just want to get into the camp. And I say, you had better stay out of it. We've got everything under control here. So the General has a plan? What kind of plan could that possibly be if it doesn't involve me? That's a secret. But I'm the leader! You used to be the leader. We have a new General now. New General, new Schmeneral? Mo, mo, mo. You don't even have a war anymore. I mean, where's all the action? The explosions? The dismembered people? The burning huts? As I said, we have a new General now. And what, what's the deal with that secret plan? That's a secret. Yeah, you don't expect me to, to simply swallow that. Why not? You swallowed an entire liter of paint thinner, and everybody knows that stuff causes immediate brain damage. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was cool. Things seem to be different with the Resistance these days. Thank you. That wasn't a compliment. Everything here is so... Organized? Boring. Lame. Dreary. I guess that's because we drove the Organon out of Portofisco. We have new equipment and new command structures. Excuse me, I can barely hear you. Your mechanical beard is making too much noise. So, you found yourself a new therapist? Yes, and he is really good. For one thing, I no longer have this recurring nightmare where I'm being chased by a GNU, where the walls are dissolving around me until the whole house collapses on top of me. Yeah, that was... Quite a memorable day. And you must admit that the gate really stopped squeaking after that. How can you just sit here totally unperturbed? The world is coming to an end! Does that mean you ran out of your famous plans? Oh, of course I have a plan. But for that, I need, you know... Help? A minimum of support. Remember, it's me who's saving everyone's fat, lazy behinds around here. In that case, let me thank you. But there's no need for you to save us. We've got a plan of our own now. If you want to help us, just sit somewhere and don't touch anything that flashes. Or is in any way combustible. Or yellow. Oh, you know what? Don't touch anything at all. Come on! Death to the Organon and all that. I know that you mean what. Well. But there's no need for you to save us. We've got a plan of our own now. If you want to help us, just sit somewhere and don't touch anything that flashes. Hmm. <laughs> I know exactly how I can draw out the old Tony. Spare yourself the effort. <laughs> you should know me better than that. When have I ever made an effort? Do you remember how I used your grandmother's urn as a pudding bowl? I'm sure you had your reasons. Yeah, but the, the thing is, that wasn't pudding at all. <laughs> hey, that's really a good answer to the question where that funky smell came from. Thanks for letting me know. Do you remember how I tried to teach Mr. Woofy to fly? Yes, I certainly do. And I apologize if my reaction back then was a bit over the top. I just couldn't control my fists or my brass knuckles. Yeah, but you don't even know the best part. A week later, it worked after all. <laughs> and the story about Mr. Woofy being hit by a falling weather balloon is only half true, you know. What? Now that's a relief. In that case, my reaction was completely appropriate. Do you remember how I secretly took photos of your mother in the bathroom? Yeah, but I never understood why. Because I never told you that I sold the pictures to old ogling Aussie. 
<laughs> of course, I had to throw in some, um, you know, underpants, or I couldn't have afforded the sticker album. You are such a prankster. Always good for a surprise. <laughs> I have risen from the dead. Congratulations. Doesn't that scare you at all? Rufus, there were so many times when you blew yourself up, set yourself on fire, sawed into your leg, or got trampled by stampeding buffalo. You really have to come up with some new tricks if you want to impress me. Aww. There's three of me now. All right, now that is but also totally absurd. But it's true, I cloned myself. I think we would have noticed by now, from the reign of ash or some such thing. There's three of me, honestly. Ooh, boring. Oh, I give up. You do? Oh, remind me to send my therapist a fruit basket. I still believe that the old Tony is somewhere in there, and I think I know how I can get her to come out. Spare yourself the effort. It's not over yet. What isn't over yet? Uh, no, well, it's over. But I'll be back. No rush. Rufus, why don't you just admit that... Wait a minute. One Rufus. Two Rufuses. <laughs> exactly. There's two of me now. Three, actually. Three times the action! Rufus! 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 Ah! All right, Tony, just stay calm. You have a good therapist, and you're gonna see him right now. <laughs> that was fun. Go on. You know the game. Shoo! Therapy session in progress. Oh, such lousy timing. How am I supposed to get at the medicine now? And now suddenly, I see him twice. What does it mean? Is my subconscious trying to give me a heart attack? I have a feeling this is going to add months to my therapy. We must extend it. What? Make it even longer? Um, I mean... What the kind of schedule were you thinking of? Well, at least until the world ends. And after that, let's see. <laughs> yes, that would be the perfect distance for a maiden flight. And the target is also well chosen. By now, he must have realized that he needs help. Well then, let's relieve the poor devil. Boy, they must have some funny downdrafts around. If you make the nose of a paper airplane heavier with a weight, it'll fly farther! I knew my long career as a parking offender would eventually pay off. He looks grumpy. I better not bother him. Yes, that would be the perfect distance for a maiden flight. And the target is also well chosen. By now, he must have realized that he needs help. Well then, let's relieve the poor devil.
Whoopsie. There must be some strange updrafts here. Uh-huh. What? There's a flyer stuck in the outside wall. Cuh, what pathetic construction. Whoever made this obviously had no idea how to fold a proper paper airplane. Unlike me, of course. Therapeutic ropes. The cheaper alternative. What's that supposed to mean? Is somebody trying to yank my chain and... Wait a minute. What's this? There's something stuck to the tip. A capital Yerk. Huh. Now I'm going to show that unknown, nameless amateur how you do this right. Whoopsie-wee! Boy, they must have some funny downdrafts around here. And then it turned out he'd come up with the idea to store his fish hooks in my jewelry box. He'd already stuck the bait on them. It was so horrible. It made me wish my ears would fall off. I can relate to that right now. Ow! What is this? A flyer? Hmm. Sure. Why not? Uh, Miss Tony, I have good news for you. I finally found the appropriate therapy for your problem. Wait a moment. I'll just write you a prescription. Oh, wow. So beautiful. Hey, Tony! What? Whoa! What's up with you, babe? I thought you were doing therapy. My therapist broke it off and instead gave me a prescription for rope. Cool. You wouldn't have something to do with that, would you? <laughs> no, not me. Well, what makes you think that? Rufus! Wait a second. Threatening undertone, aggressive gleam in the eye. Hey, he did it! You're back to your old self! That was not the goal of therapy. Dad, who cares what the goal was? The main thing is that it worked, right? <laughs> <laughs> Somehow I missed that sound. <laughs> ah, thanks. Once is enough. Tony has a prescription from her therapist. Suspendane, neck and spinal column, acute forte, single use. Hmm. What's that? A prescription for a rope? I hung it here at eye level to keep it in the back of my mind as an option, in case you showed up again. Can I have it? Oh, I've prayed for this for years, and you're finally going to get yourself a rope? It must be my birthday! Oh, and I didn't bring you a cake. Not to mention 100 candles. Take the prescription and get out. I'm on my way. <laughs> nice to see you're back to your old self, with the emphasis on old. Out! news I have a subject really what is it come on I'll show you oh dear that's terribly high ah uh, stop whining and keep your camera ready because what I'm about to do I'm only gonna do once unless the picture isn't any good do it again this is probably where the construction workers hang their hats that wasn't all that heroic. Just wait and see. I wanted to check the lay of the land first. Yeah, I have a prescription here for a rope. Oh, may I see it? 
<laughs> ah, yes. I still have one of those in stock. Would you like some waterproofing spray with it? Some bridge railings can be quite damp this time of year. Ah, that's all right. Wait a second. This is just a shoelace. Well, I'm afraid your healthcare insurance care provider won't cover for a better model. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good news. I have a sub. Really? What? Come on. Ash. Oh, dear. That's terribly high. Ah, stop whining and keep your camera ready. Because what I'm about to do, I'm only going to do once, unless the picture isn't any good. We'll do it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That will make a terrific track. Perfect. Um, Rufus, are you sure that a snare is the best option here? Of course I'm sure. Like the cowboys do it. You like cowboys, don't you? I like Cowboy Dodo from the local radio station, but I can't imagine that he would lure a baby into a snare. Because he's not a real cowboy. Just let me do this, okay? And uh, keep your camera ready. <laughs> now he's trapped. And who's smarter now? <laughs> um, Rufus is... Is that part of the plan? I can't understand you. Uh, what are you trying to tell me? <sighs> in my reflected glory, would you finally take the picture? Uh, are you sure? I can barely hold on as it is. Take the stupid picture. Um, all right. Um, the picture. Well, that worked great. You think so? I can't even remember how it all happened. <laughs> then you missed the best part. Did I take a picture? And what a picture. Let me, um, borrow this for a moment. They're totally out of it. And here's a photo of Bozo's first spelling bee. He never had any luck with L and F, but nobody could touch him when it came to E. Hello? What's he wearing? Oh, that's a little skirt he made himself from dental floss. Oh, that's nice. He saved up for months. His breath was terrible. <laughs> Uh, Yoo-hoo! Deponia to Sergeant Bambi! Oh, how sweet! Beefy fairy frill pajamas! Why does he look so embarrassed? I have no idea. Actually, he was supposed to help me put fresh sheets on his bed. What a mess. Huh, <laughs> they're totally out of it. Hello? And herpes again? How cute! The house is on fire! His first training wheels. He was just 21. Oh, he looks so proud. <laughs> What's that weird thing? Hello, I am Bailiff Argus. 
tremble before the deadly punctuality of the organon. <laughs> oh, wonderful. You found my breast milk pump. <laughs> what? Cool hat. Hey, Grandpa. No rushing me. Dinner is done when it's done. Hey, Grandpa. No rushing me. Dinner is... Yum. That looks tasty. An outstanding consistency. And the way it looks. Even without the use of mealworms. <laughs> hey, what do you think you're doing? Can't you wait until dinner is ready? But it smells so good. You think so? It's just leftover roast dripping. <laughs> oh, no, that would be a shame. Who knows if future generations will even still like roast drippings. So good. Now, what am I going to apply for? Yerk 75. There. Oh, this is so exciting. Wow. That went fast. We hereby inform you that your application for medical help has been approved. Hey, cool. I bet they'll be sending me to sick bay now. Says here, for this category of injury, it will not be necessary for you to report to sick bay. Oh, a medic is already on his way to your location. Uh-oh. Run, Rufus. Hey, you, stop. So heroic cowboy Dodo gets along with the organoid. <laughs> and then I knocked him out with a well aimed karate chop. Wow. Ah, Rufus. We've got a new problem. Unfortunately, I had to use our rope to tie up the organ on. He popped up all of a sudden, and I was forced to subdue him. Anyone could have done that. He probably thinks there's no one cooler than him. Huh. How could anyone be that conceited? Too bad I had to subdue this organ on. Where are we going to get a new rope now? Well, uh, maybe one will fall into our laps if we just keep sitting here. But Rufus, you're not trying to avoid work, are you? Or do you expect me to see about the rope as well? Yeah. The only reason Cowboy Dodo was able to overwhelm him was because of my fantastic groundwork. That guy was totally out of breath because I ran away from him so fast. Tell me, um, are you part of the medical staff? I think I feel an idea coming on. Hold still. <laughs> it worked. Usually I drop all the glasses. Huh, that face looks familiar.
Cool, it worked! Ah, Doctor, there you are at last. You're just in time. I was about to give up on this patient. Give up? Why? What's wrong with him? Well, first, I thought it was a simple case of food poisoning. But then I did a safety scan, just to be sure. There is no doubt about it. The patient has a tapeworm. <laughs> but, Doctor, a tapeworm is no laughing matter. This is serious. You must operate at once. <laughs> huh? What? Me? Of course you. You're the doctor, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. Sure, I'm the doctor. And removing a tapeworm is, is uh, child's play for me. I mean, just how hard can it be? Uh, uh, whatever you say. Uh, your coat is hanging over there, as usual. Uh, I'll go and get the dissecting kit and the bone saw. <laughs> yeah, I... Now, what was I about to do? Uh, uh, surgically remove the tapeworm? Ah, yes. Piece of cake. I am a sturgeon, after all. Uh, a surgeon, you mean? Uh, yeah, that too. <laughs> Got it. Well, that's it. <laughs> uh, weren't you going to put him back together? Well, what do you mean? Do I have to? I think it would be beneficial to the patient. Oh, well, alright, fine. Um, where does the, uh, the last part go? Ah, well, who cares? It can't have been that important. <laughs> okay, all done. Close him up. Now, that went really well. Don't you think so? I'm about to be sick. Oh, stop fetching. After all, I saved your life. And I even got myself a keepsake. Here. Oh, yuck. What's that supposed to be? Your tapeworm. What else? You know, you should pay a little more attention to what you stuff your face with. But never mind. We've got more important things to do. I found the rebels, and I need your help. Come on. Fish? I think I see double. What? 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 What the? I don't believe it. Yeah, <laughs> didn't expect that, huh? The tide has turned. Now we can take another vote about who's gonna get the codes. I vote for me. And I for me. What? No. Hey. Well, in that case, it looks like I won the vote. You see, I'm gonna vote for your doppelganger too. So it's three to two, to two. No, 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 no. I need to do this. You wanted another vote, so we took one. Now all we need is rope, and then we can start. I can't even rely on myself these days. What are you doing? You were supposed to vote for me. And why aren't you voting for me? After all, we're identical, right? So it totally doesn't matter which one of us gets the codes, just as long as it isn't that pompous doofus. <laughs> I agree. We must get rid of him somehow. I'll think of something. <laughs> Screwed. It's impossible to open that pipeline. Hmm. Yeah. Cowboy Dodo is sitting right in the line of fire. I just came up with a great idea that'll shut up that show off once and for all. <laughs> Ha! <laughs> 
I've got an idea. Are you about to infect me with another tapeworm? Much better. All you need to do is hold open the pneumatic tube over there with his screwdriver. And what good will that do? Take a good look. He's sitting right in the line of fire. As soon as the next capsule comes down the tube, then... Blemo! Hmm, that might even work. But only if a capsule comes before my arms fall off. I'll see to that. I'll be right back. So now... Hola there! <laughs> hey, stop, stop, stop! I wanted to get the Ascension codes. And so you will. I mean, the other you. The vote was unanimous. Congratulations. But how could that happen? Your doppelganger saved Cowboy Dota's life! Like, for real! He did... what? A pneumatic tube capsule hit me in the head and I almost fell off the tower. Your doppelganger didn't hesitate to catch him. He's a true hero. You were completely right, Rufus. I need to apologize. To think that I was about to cause you bodily harm just so I could be the one who saves the world. Please, forgive me. Eh, yeah, no hard feelings. Fine! This is all sorted out, Shane. All we are still missing now is a rape. Please, forgive me. Looks like I misjudged you completely. Huh, never mind. Hey, you set that up like a pro. Thanks. I'm glad that you're such a good loser. Yeah, what was that? You, you're calling me a loser? There, there. The best man for the job won the vote. If you view it from that angle, we're all winners. Ugh, we're all winners. <sighs> all right. I think I found some kind of rope. The tapeworm? Forget it. Perhaps this clown would actually abseil down a tapeworm, but I must have a real rope. Wouldn't you consider making an exception? So, our home planet will not be blown to Schmidt's range and so forth. No. I am the one who has to go down there. So the least he can do is get me a decent rope. Don't you agree? Friends, friends. Do we really have to keep fighting about these ego issues? If there's one thing I've learned today... Oh, please. Not another motivational speech. I'll do it. Let me see. I think I need to get it down from there somehow. Too bad these corner pieces can't be freely moved. They rotate like the others, but only as long as they're not blocked. Ah, never mind. It'll work somehow. Brain dead half wit, you really can't do anything right, can you? But it worked, so don't get your panties in a knot. You know, you almost sound like Cletus. That's because I am Cletus! Huh? Yes, surprise! Anyone with an intellect higher than that of a microbe would have noticed at once, but not you! You dim witted, fat headed, ugh! Never mind! Even though the time I spent with you was sheer torture, I've got the Ascension Codes! And now, I can enter the high boat 
instead of Argus Au revoir, mon enemy! Wow, so mean. What a nasty character. As soon as I figure out what that means, I'll let him have it. Ha ha ha! Yeah! <laughs> you had it coming, dirtbag. But funny as that may be, I think we should get out of here fast, Yanosh. Uh, Yanosh? Well, well. The Organon headquarters are infested with rebels. Would anyone care to explain? I expected as much. Line up in front of the cell, now! Five rebels and that Cletus chap. Who assumes responsibility for this outrageous blunder? Open boss! Me? Bailiff, but I was with you the entire time, helping you with the boarding of the high boat. Did I hear you contradict me? For that, you are hereby assigned to lugging crates. Dismissed. But... I said dismissed! Yes, Bailiff. Shh. Right, anyone else? Come on, don't be shy. Which one of you is responsible? I assume full responsibility, Bailiff. I insist that you send me off to lug crates as well. What do you know? An Organon with courage. You should all take a leaf out of his book. Go ahead, soldier. Step forward. As a reward, we will now sing the Organon hymn to our brave comrade before we ceremoniously toss him down from the tower. Organon! Organon!